Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. So I'm about to show you why rates are gonna go down just as fast as they came up. But remember, it took rates almost an entire year to go from 3% to the sixes and sevens. But still, look at this chart. So here we are, this chart shows you 30 year mortgage rates versus the 10 year treasury. So if you watch my videos or you know anything about mortgage rates, you know that the 10 year treasury, as that goes up, mortgage rates are going up. As the 10 year treasury comes down, mortgage rates come down. They go almost exactly in sync. Not always. The mortgage bonds also have an influence on it in the opposite direction. But let's take a look at this. Everywhere you see these red arrows up and down, that's about 175 to 200 basis points. It's 1.7% to 2% difference between them, the distance between them. So what does that mean? Over here we have the rate about 7%, the 10 year treasury about 4%. That's a 300 basis point spread or a 3% spread as you can see on the screen. That's the current spread. So if the current spread is 3% or 300 bips and it's typically 175 to 200, that means there's a greater gap than normal. I've said this in other videos and I tell my clients all the time, rates are artificially higher because the secondary market, the investors that put their money into interest rates know that rates are going to come down quickly and soon therefore they artificially increase the rate because they need to make some money off these loans while they're on the books i mean think about it if you're going to make money off of an investment for only six months or 18 months or whatever two years aren't you going to try to make as much money as possible because there are costs involved so you could lose money if the, all the loans are refinanced in six months. A lot of lenders in 2020 were doing the same thing. They were artificially raising their rates or changing the pricing on the back end to make it where you would pay points to get a little bit of a lower rate because they knew you were going to refinance a lower rate soon. Anyway, it's very complex on the back end. I'm trying to make it simple for you. But this chart is everything because each of those lines show that average spread 175 to 200 bips and we're at 300 bips. As the 10 year treasury continues to go down, now remember it's never in a straight line, it's up and down, but it right now is downward bound. I said it before, I said it months before, I follow Barry Habib. Barry Habib is amazing with this stuff. And he said it, and I said it, inflation will come down in October. I showed that chart showing the, how inflation was really high last October, the new October number was gonna replace it, which is really November when it comes out. The, the October number from last year was high, and this year's October number was going to come in lower and replace it. Therefore, it was going to show inflation coming down. And the October number comes out in November. Now, the November number is going to come out in December. We're going to see December, January, February. All of those are high readings. We should have lower readings every time. And we should see this really nice drop in inflation over these next few months. And rates will come down the beginning of next year as well. Maybe in the fives, maybe in the fours. But as that spread closes, because there's less fear of the refinancing, that's gonna help bring the rates down fast. Like I said in the beginning, some of they came up fast, they're gonna come down fast. Watch, everybody's gonna have negative comments on this video because they think the world is gonna end and it's gonna be a crash for everyone. Boys nerd out.